Yo, what's up everyone? This is Road Pirate Pat, back at you with another video. Today's video is going to be very simple. I'm just going to be explaining to you how to make some window coverings, some custom fitted window coverings out of this here roll of Reflectix. Uh, it's really simple, but there are a couple little tricks involved that can make the process a bit easier for you. So as you can see, this is the front window. It's pretty easy. You just pretty much have to uh, trace a template, cut it out, and then I like to take some tape and just wrap it around it so it doesn't you know, rip apart. But I'll show you how to do it, and let's get into the video. First, you're gonna need some paper or some cardboard so you can trace out your window, and you're gonna get this template, and this is what's gonna transfer on to your roller reflectix. So you wanna make sure you get that well, you get it pretty precise. To get your measurements correct, you want to measure the furthest distance from point A to point B. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So get yourself a tape measure here. Come over to your window. And I know my furthest point, say this is point A, this is point B. That's the furthest distance. 33 inches. I'm going to go about, and I'll cut it at about 36. 37 just to play it safe so I have that extra like I say to overcompensate so I have the ability to tape around the corner and pull and push and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here in a second so we're gonna take that measurement the longest from point A to point B and we're gonna cut out this paper here and then we're gonna tape it up here with some painters tape and we're gonna trace it out and that's gonna be our template so we can go ahead and start cutting out our roll all right now after you're done getting your measurement from your window you want to transfer it over here to your paper or your cardboard whatever you have and remember to overcompensate about three to four inches so that way you have enough extra where you can wrap around your window you can tape it you can push in a bit just give yourself some some extra play there taking my measurement here i know that i am about 33 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it let's go let's go 37 thank you mark For some reason I hate cutting I just hate cutting paper I can cut wood and just about anything else but man cutting paper for some reason just always pisses me off all right, now that we have our sheet, we're gonna go back over to our window and we're gonna use painter's tape. We're gonna tape this on all sides and we're gonna use our marker here and we're gonna get our template. So let's go ahead and let's do it. All right, you guys, now once that is done, you take your paper, come back over to your window. I like to wrap it up top first. Get a nice seam going. Make sure, push in on each side. Make sure you have enough, see right here? I don't have enough, so I need to come over a bit more. You now I have enough. You want to push in everywhere. I already have my tape. I already have my tape pre-ripped. Pre come around to the other side. Same thing for the other side. Come over here. Before I tape the bottom down, what I do is I push the top in here to give myself that extra pull, that extra length that I'm going to need. Because remember, when you push this in, it's going to pull the paper. So if you tape it really tight, it's actually going to rip it. So don't tape it tight. Just tape the back end, push it in, find your indentations, see how much slack you're going to need, then tape it down. Boom. Now once you have everything taped down in place and you have your slack pulled, go ahead and get yourself a marker. And you just trace out your uh, trace out your window. Get as good as you can, but don't worry because we're gonna cut out. We're gonna give ourselves about an inch or two on all sides. So that way we have some play. So remember, if you cut it too short, you're gonna you're gonna be in trouble because you're gonna have to make a whole new template. But if you go a little bit long, you can always trim. All right, now that we're done with that, we're gonna take this and we're gonna go back over and uh, roll the roll out. And then we're gonna trace this onto the roll, cut it out, and that'll be our starting point. So let's go ahead and do it. Pro tip, just fold the tape behind the paper here. So you're not ripping it off and ripping shit to shreds. 
Window template. Alright, next step. Call the template out. I don't know what it is, but I just... I can't stand cutting things. For some reason, it just, it just irritates me. It irritates the heck out of me. It just doesn't want to work, man. Maybe it's because, like, in arts and crafts class, the chicks could always cut their stuff out perfect. My shit would be all, like, jagged and they'd be making fun of me and shit. Alright, cool. Here we go. Boom. Done. Now let's transfer this over to the roll of reflectix. Let's roll out. Roll out. Top. Back. I love me some Louis Chris, man. Use your straight line at the bottom here for your straight line for your window. And remember... Overcompensate, for sure. I'm gonna overcompensate, like, uh, I'd say, probably like, man, just do like two to three inches to play it safe. It's not that big of a deal. You can just trim this stuff back, so. Like I say, it's always better to have more than you need, because if you cut it too short, you gotta redo the whole thing. Remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get something to fit into your window to block the light. So, you don't have to be a perfectionist, just get it close. Now that we got that done, we can go ahead and, you know, get rid of this. Take the scissors once more, and now we cut this out. If anyone's interested in tagging along for a project one day where I gotta cut a bunch of stuff out for templates, I'm not even kidding you, I will pay you to cut it out. We're getting there. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Now we got this cut out. We're just gonna have to go over and uh, refit it. Definitely we'll have to trim it down a couple times, but like I say, that's fine. That's why you give yourself some room to play. Fit this bad boy in here. Man, look at that. It's like perfect. What can I say? Alright, once you have this thing trimmed down and fitting perfectly, now there's only really one thing left to do. I like to take some duct tape and I like to just make my own seam with it. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. Hello. Snail mail. Better have my bricks. All right, last step, what I like to do is I like to create my own seam using some duct tape here. All you do is you grab yourself a roll, only tape up about an inch from the bottom of your reflectix. your end piece off. I just fold it over just like this. Left side. So now we got a nice seam going on throughout the whole perimeter of your sheet here. So it's not gonna tear apart on you now. Now only one thing left to do. We gotta go back over to our window and we gotta put our finished product in and uh, we gotta be stoked. And it fits very nicely. All right, you guys, that's all I have. Amber alert? Alright, chill out, bro. Alright, you guys, that's all I have for you for this video. Freaking fly in my face. Damn, bro, come on. Every time, bro, go something. Alright, you guys, that's it for the video. This bug, bro, I swear, is on my face. That'll be one for the books. All right, you guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully it helped you out. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And this is Rope Pirate Pack, signing off. Until next time.